Afrobeats news. So as more and more artists weigh into the issue of Shatawale versus the Nigerian music industry, I'm beginning to understand that certain artists actually are deciding not to take the diplomatic route of just promoting the unity between both countries, but to, but to also point out the truth. For example, Bonaboy. Bonaboy is one of those people that have actually actively pointed out the truth that's going on or the bias that's going on in the way most of these African countries are treating Nigerians or Nigerian artists just because of the fact that our music is more influential around the globe. And some of these artists are beginning to, some of these Nigerian artists are beginning to realize the bias and they are pointing it out. Another artist that have had the balls so far to come out and point this thing out is the one and only the queen herself, Yemi Alade, who recently shared a DM that she got from Bonaboy as regards to this particular situation. So I'm guessing most likely they were having some kind of conversations in the DMs as regards what's going on between Ghana and Nigeria. Actually, let me not use the word Ghana because if I say Ghana, it's like I'm talking about the whole Ghana music industry. I mean, between Shatawali himself and Nigeria. Now, this is what Bonaboy wrote to Yemelade, and Yemelade actually shared it, made it public to the world to see. Bonaboy wrote this If you make good, relatable music and have a relatable brand, you can headline anywhere in the world. Nobody cares where you're from. You people look at things so wrong. I only go to Ghana for vacations. I've spent 100 times more money in Ghana than I've made in Ghana. Ghana loves Jamaican artists and the headline shows in Ghana all the time. Why don't you want equal love from Jamaica? Why don't you want equal love from America, UK, South Africa, etc? You play their music just as much as you play ours and you pay them, them handsomely when they perform in Ghana. So why is it fuck Nigerians and not fuck the world? Let's only listen to Ghana music in Ghana. Now, this is a very interesting point because just the recent festival that was held in Ghana, a very big festival in Ghana, Afrochella, you had um, these uh, South African artists up there. You, have not, you had Nasty C up there. And he was paid to perform in that particular event. Aside that, you had Cranium as well. He was paid to perform in Afrochella. Not just Cranium, you had uh, Vic Mensa from America or the American Ghanaian rap artist. He was also paid to perform right there. And the funny thing is that most Ghanaian artists, if they go to some of these countries, let's say to go, they go to South Africa where Nasty C is from, they won't be shown as much love as if they go to Nigeria. If let's say they go to uh, America where Vic Mensa is from, they won't be shown as much love as they were shown in Nigeria. If they go to Jamaica, they will be shown as much love as they will be shown in Nigeria. So at the end of the day, is Nigeria really the problem when I think outside of Ghana, Ghanaian artists receive the most love in Nigeria. And this is despite the fact that, let's be honest, right? The music that Shatter's Shatter produce, which is dancehall, is not the music that Nigerian audience are known to consume. Like, if I'm analyzing Nigerian like music sense, a Nigerian would a typical Nigerian would consume dancehall from the island countries, right? Which is the typical dancehall music that most people are used to. Before they would even think of consuming a dancehall from an African artist. So Shatter is on the list of the less consumed music in Nigeria, and which is just normal because even in Nigeria. Rap artists have it bad simply because Nigerians are not known to consume rap music from African countries or even Nigeria itself. Most rap artists have to switch to singing in order for them to get popular, and that is where most rap Nigerian rappers are now known to be doing Afrobeat music, and they are being clowned for that. But yet, you still find in Nigeria that someone like a Sakoji will have will be highly respected even though Nigerians are not really known to mess with rap like that but he's still very much respected and the question is what is Shata doing differently from somebody like a Sakodi? it's simple someone like Sakodi has actually collaborated and linked up so much with a lot of people within the industry that he has more respect and even though Nigerian is not known to consume rap music like that Sakodi is still well respected even more than a lot of rappers in Nigeria right now just because he's actually 
build bridges across so at the end of the day right shatter is just said what shatter wants to say and doesn't really want to accept blame for the fact that his music is not really penetrating the nigerian music industry i understand the fact that he wants more nigerian audience but music is organic i keep saying this thing you can't force people to like your music especially when the country is not known to consume your kind of music there's two things you can do you can either change your sound or collaborate more with the artists that are within that region that's where you can really build bridges and connect with the people but anyway what do i know but guys in the meantime i'm going to say this right yemi alade has balls she's coming out to speak the truth not just appear all diplomatic in public and try to not really affect her back because you know she's a global artist she goes to most of these countries to perform all the time so she would have as well said nothing and just did choose to stay quiet but she chose to speak so i respect her highly for this but anyway, which way guys don't forget guys to like and subscribe and tell me what you think about this situation going on right now what shemi alade had to put out as a gas everything going on i'm out now guys peace